Lagos State with a land area of 351,861 hectares located on the fringes of the Atlantic Ocean as the smallest state in Nigeria. Yet, it has the highest population estimated at over 21 million people. These two great potentials of the state, the proximity to the sea and the huge population which serve as ready market for product and services also have their challenges. By topography, Lagos location at 22 feet or 7 meters above the sea level meant it is prone to regular flooding which have many times led to destruction of lives and property. Also, the huge population and the need to move from one point to another often induce traffic logjam on daily basis, leading to stress and loss of productive man hours on the road. Our organization, Premise Concept and Peace has proposed two strategies to tackle these twin challenges. These are construction of canals and provision of tunnels. Here in Lagos, flooding results from lack of proper channeling of rainwater, inadequate capacity of the state's drainage system to carry excess flood water, and dumping of refuse that clogged the drainage system. Our solution is to first set up a dedicated defloading gang that will be responsible for regular cleaning and desilting of drainages and canals. This will be followed by expansion and rehabilitation of the canals to increase their capacity for carrying flood water back into the streams and lagoons. This will be sustained all year round to ensure early preparedness and effective management of rainfall that can induce flooding. For the traffic, it is a fact that Lagos has the highest vehicular density estimated at 264 vehicles per kilometer. This reality shows that the current number of roads is inadequate to service hundreds of thousands of motorists that ply the roads daily. To address this challenge, we are proposing an expansion of the current roadways where possible, creating new routes through tunneling and promotion of other modes of transport such as rail and water. For the purpose of emphasis, we suggest that attention should be focused on building underground public subways and tunnels. This is the major ways by which megacities in developed countries have been able to address traffic and move their people en masse seamlessly. Adoption of this idea will assist the state in expanding its public transportation system and addressing its perennial traffic problems.